All right, guys, I won't even lie. I'm starting to get a bit furious. Like, I'm actually getting mad at this place because they are just, I don't know what they're doing, but they're jerking me around. Like, seriously. I just freaking pulled up here, backed into this spot. I was told to drop it in this door. That's what they told me. And the company told me I was dropping it too. It's sealed, so I didn't open the doors, obviously. I did all that work to back into here. I walk up the stairs to there, and nobody comes to the window for like 10 minutes. And finally, they come to the window. And they're like, okay, um, go sit in your truck and wait for somebody to come out to you and took my paperwork. And I'm like, okay. And then she comes back and she goes, actually, no, just stand off to the side here for about 15 minutes. And I'm like, okay. So then I step to the side. And about 10 minutes later, she calls me over and says, come back over. I'm like, okay. And then she's like, um, you need to just go sit in your truck and they'll be with you, you know, at some point. And I'm like, okay. And then she tells me, okay, you just need to go park it in any empty spot. I'm thinking, oh, okay, perfect. I'm gonna go park in an empty spot and, and that's what I want. And she's like, go park in any empty spot. And then she goes, uh, never mind. Go sit in your truck and wait until somebody comes with you. And I'm like, okay. But I was going to be kind of pissed that I did all this to park it here. And then they tell me, oh, just go drop it in any empty space. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> that just kind of defeats the purpose of what y'all just told me to do to pull into this. Door. Like, they don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm actually pretty agitated. I really am. I, I, I don't think I've ever been this agitated at a customer before. Oh my God, guys, I'm finally freaking done. This place. <sighs> okay, I gotta get that trailer pushed to the right. So I gotta straight. Oh God. I can't see, dude. This is straight blindside stuff. <sighs> see, they made me pull up to open. I'm good. They made me pull up to open a door. And then now I'm gonna drop it. I swear to God, dude, like, I, I seriously think this place is just messing with me. I really feel like they were just messing with me. I just have a weird feeling. I, it's just, it was a bit off here. Oh my God, I'm so ready to get out of here. I am so ready to get out of here. I have never been more ready to leave a customer than I am this place, dude. There we go. Oh, thank God. Let's get this thing back in here. Let's disconnect and let's get out of here before they tell me to do something else. They have told me to do like three different things, dude. I am so agitated. You guys don't even know how agitated I am right now. I ain't been this agitated since I've been doing, well, I've been stressed, but mostly at my own stuff, but not of somewhere else. Like, you know, me just trying to learn and do everything. I have heard truckers talk about like people messing with them before. Like, I have heard about, like, truckers saying, ah, come, shippers and receivers messing with you, or, you know, making you wait on purpose and all that stuff. Like, I know a lot of times they make you wait, but there's, like, there's stuff they may have going on, you know? And to you, it just seems like they're making you wait, but, you know, in reality, they just may not be able to get to you right that moment. But this, this was different, dude. I feel like these people were intentionally messing with me. All right, we need to take a right out of here. Oh my God, I can't wait to get to the terminal, dude. Freaking take a shower and call it a god dang day. I don't know why I just took that turn so wide. I'm bobtailing right now. When I walked back up to the guard shack, right? I walked back up to the guard shack and I talked to the lady. And I said, does it have to be one? And I don't know if she really understood what I was saying or not, but she didn't, I don't know. She didn't under, seem like she understood. So she asked another lady to come up. And the other lady's like, you just have to wait. How many times do we have to tell you? I was like, no, I'm just trying to understand. Does it have to be one or can it be any of them? And she said, it's over there. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, I, I was sitting there just trying to like, you know, communicate like, I, I, and I kept my cool the whole time. I never got upset because the last thing you want to do is you want to be upset with people that are in control of how long you're going to be there and everything that happens. So I try to be as nice as freaking possible, dude. My mom always taught me, you catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. So I was Keep nice as could be to stuff. every single person there. But I swear every single person there was messing with me, dude. Oh my God. It's because I'm a gringo, man. That's what it is. 
I'm a gringo. It's like, we're going to give this gringo a hard time today. <laughs> oh, man, I was getting pissed. Oh, uh, shoot. Now, I do know about the waiting, though, because I have waited at places five or six hours before. So, before you guys are like, yeah, wait until you got to wait somewhere five or six hours, then talk to me. No, I've done it. But I just, this place, I don't know. It was, it was weird. It was different. Like I said, I just felt like they were kind of messing with me a little bit. Oh, it's going to be right here. So that's, that looks like a Schneider yard. So we're probably going to be right after the Schneider yard. So I think we take this left here. This car is anxious to get around me. Where's our yard at? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. another CFI driver and follow him in or something. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm in unknown territory right now. I know some of you CFI guys are watching my vlogs now. <laughs> you guys have let me know. And you're probably laughing at me right now because you probably know where the terminal's at. You're like, God, Dave, it was back there somewhere. You should have turned. Atlanta Drive, then take the first right. This says dead end. Yeah, because we need to take a right here. He's taking a left. Oh my god, this is freaking ridiculous. Well, there's Pam Transport Terminal. I've seen every other person's terminal but freaking Turn mine. Right on American Boulevard. Of course, mine's the one I can't find. You'd think you'd see a bunch of CFI trailers everywhere. Central Transport, Pam Bobtail. USA truck yard. Continue three quarters of a mile to the end of the street, then turn left. Okay. Well, that's making progress because now it says go to the end of the street and turn left. Whereas before it had us over there. So I don't know. I'm confused. I ain't even know speed limits on this road. Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be going. Dude, I don't want to get up out of here, man. CFI. CFI. Bam. Okay. Now I know where the yard's at now. Now I just got to find the freaking entrance. Which it says to go up here, hang a left, and then make a U-turn. Bam. Okay. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I took the roundabout way to the CFI freaking terminal, dude. But I think I made it. Yeah, there's no entrance on this street, so I have to keep, I have to make a left out of here and then hang a U-turn. God, that's a lot of freaking trailers, dude. That's a big Turn one. left on FM 1472. Oh, oh, take oh. The first left. I'm just hoping that I can freaking, like, get in there easily, I hope. I hope it's not going to ask for some crazy code or something, and then I got to call the company and, like, ah, I just want to get in there, man. I just want to get in there. There we go. Now we got a green light. Nobody behind me either. Come on, Dave. Come on, truck. Go, 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 go before these guys get to go and stuff. Turn left on FM yeah, 
see, I it, it told me to take that left back there. So it was the GPS messing me up. And for some reason, my blind ass didn't see all the freaking CFI trailers. There we go. God, I'm home. I'm home. Thank you, CFI. I'm home. Oh, man. Oh, dang. I just pulled right up in here, too. There ain't no freaking nothing. No guard gate or nothing. Shoot. Shoot. In Let me pull up in here. where the loaded trailers are or are gonna be or nothing i don't know nothing about this place we're gonna have to figure it out together and go searching for a trailer <laughs> oh come on guys sometime today this parade has to end god dang it every time it ends somebody else is coming around the corner i could try for it but that's a truck coming and i don't trust the speed of my bobtail Dude, this is ridiculous. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Go, Dave. Go, Dave. Go, Dave. Go, 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 go. It's so slow, dude. It's so slow. Speed limit 10 miles an hour. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I really don't know. Turn on lights and flashers. There we go. I honestly don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Only Bobtail solo tractors. So do I gotta stop up here? Alright guys, I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so basically the guy right there just told me to, uh, right, we gotta go back up there and talk to dispatch. And then uh, they'll tell me where the loaded trailer is and what I'm supposed to be doing, so. I've never been here. I don't know how I get over there. Do I go back through here? What do I do? Can I go? I guess I can go through there. I guess. I don't know, man. I've never been here. I don't know the rules. But he said loaded trailers are all over, so... <laughs> Alright, dude. This is ridiculous. So I gotta go to dispatch, get the trailer number and all that good stuff. And uh, okay, this is gonna wrap me around. Then I'll be good. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, dude, I'm so confused right now as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, do I go that way or does that take me to the blue building? I guess so, yeah, I guess. I don't freaking know, man. Or was I, maybe I should have kept going a little bit further. Ugh, dude, I'm so freaking discombobulated. I don't know about going this way, though. I think I need to go around the other way and hit the loop. Because I don't know what I'm doing, dude. And I need to use the bathroom. I need to shower. I need to do all that fun stuff that, you know, people have to do. All right. left I think this lane is what's going to take me to the dispatch office and stuff there's a lot of trailers here man there's more trailers here than at our main place in Joplin I swear and then like uh, our Memphis terminal I've been there too and I didn't have this many trailers. This is where like the majority of our trailers are, I feel. That's crazy. Yeah, this is how I get there basically. Okay, cool. All right guys, well now that you've seen our Laredo terminal here, I am going to, where is it? Do not enter. Temporary parking, do not, no, do not drop trailers. Why did I read do not enter on that? I don't know. This lot is confusing, dude. I don't know what I... Dude, how am I going to find the trailer that I'm supposed to pick up at this place? Oh, my God, dude. I, it's going to take me forever to find... Hopefully, they can tell me an idea. Like, yeah, it's going to be on this row over here. Here, Or am I just going to have to go down looking at every single freaking trailer, dude? That's going to be crazy. Bob 
tail only. That's me, bro. Okay, good lord. Alright, guys. Um, I'm just going to park here for now, run in, see what they tell me to do, what trailer I'm picking up, get the paperwork for it, and yeah. Then I'm probably going to take a shower, I'm going to chill, and I'll be back with you guys when we do the Buffalo run tomorrow, or the Buffalo, the Dallas run tomorrow. It was a pretty stressful day today, I will not lie. The drive down to the Laredo was, was pretty stressful itself. It was just city after city after city on I-35 South. And then, of course, getting to that uh, broker and delivering this was a pain and stressed me out. Um, holy crap! That CFI tractor over there has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, 12, 20 stars on it. That dude has been with CFI for 20 years. They give you a star for each year you've been at CFI. And not, not this one here, but the one behind it. You guys probably can't see on the GoPro, but right on the front fender, they have stars. My trainer had, he has 11 years, so he had 11 stars. That dude's got 20. That's a lot of years with the same company, man. 20 years at CFI, that dude's been here. That's why he's driving a nice brand spanking new truck, it looks like, too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, oh my goodness. I'm a bit tired. I'm ready to go take a shower. I'm probably going to edit a video and call it a day. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. And until next time, peace.